Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Arts of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Tuesday 11th, the 11th of October 2022 and I hope you are keeping well. I'm feeling rather sleepy, I must admit. I've had a bit of a morning snooze, an extra snooze in the morning after getting up early and doing some work and, and even playing the Guardian Sudoku. I went back to sleep and now I'm feeling sleepier than before. <laughs> so, so much for that. Uh, I can see uh, a couple of things on this New York Times hard level Sudoku uh, with the digit 8. So, what I can see, I'm going to tell you about. Right, I'm going to start with this 8 over here blocking these squares here and this 8 blocking this square and this 8 blocking this square. So enabling me to put an 8 there, but I can also see, as you probably can, the 8s like that. So that's what I noticed uh, when complaining to you that I still feel tired. Let's do a little bit more. We've got 8s like this and 8 down here. And that's definitely as far as I can go with that for the moment. We're going we're gonna to have 8s left in those squares there. have a nice four down the central column here, four across here, place our four there. Do I sound like I'm whispering to you? I kind of speaking very, I feel like I'm speaking very quietly. It seems like I'm worried I might make, wake myself up. <laughs> That's really not good for playing Sudoku, is it? You need to be alert, really. Um, Okay, so I've discovered 2 and 9 in this row and this row, so blocking across like this. So we get ourselves a pair of 2 and 9 here, now that we know that that's 2 and 9. What else does it enable us to say? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh no, hang on a second. There's a 1 blocking down here, so there we go, there's a 1 in that square then. <laughs> it did give me something. 1's block like this. There's a 1. Uh, a 1 blocking down here, a 1 must be in a uh, block uh, across here as well. So that gives us a 1 here, a 1 blocking down here, and blocking down here, and across these two rows. So one there. Okay. I 
Oh, now, since I said that this was 2 and 9, that's going to put 7 and 5 in these two squares, right? So that means 7s are there. Not sure that's very useful. Uh, and, ah, no. Uh, but it does mean that uh, fives must also appear like this, so five blocking up here, so this has to be a five, right? And of course then, if this is two and nine, I can get this, can't I? So the remaining digit here uh, is a six. Right, now we have 8 blocking down this column and this column, and 8 across here, so we can in fact place an 8 here, and then I think we can finish off the 8s with this move here, yep. That's goodbye to 8, we'll say goodbye to love. Um, Okay, we have 7 blocking this square and 7 blocking this square, so in that column we still need a 7 which we can place there. Our 5 blocks this square here, so 5 appears there and 2 is in that square there. It's going to be another slow game for me by the looks of it. Dokey, in this column here we are lacking 2, 5, 7 and 9, I believe. Now 7 and 5 block this square and 7 and 5 block this square. So we are limited to 7 and 5 in these squares only. How does that help me? Uh, in the other squares it's 2 and 9. Okay, so this can't be a 2, so the 2 is here and the 9 is in that square. That's how it helps me.
Now this is 7 and 5, so the remaining squares here have to be 3 and 2. So then 2 blocks across here and 2 blocks across here, that would be 2. We have 9 blocking across here and 9 blocking down here, so there's our 9. Uh, still to get here and here are 4 and 6. Okay, we have 9 blocking up this column and up this column here also. We need a 9 in this row here, so let's put in 9. And that's going to leave us with 3, 6 in those squares there. Now, 1 and 3 block across here and 1 and 3 block up. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, missing from here is 4, 7, and 9. We've got 4 and 7 in this row, so that's our 9. Uh, 3, 6 are here. Right, 1 is there. 2s are like this. Does that help me? 4s are still anywhere there. Fives are like that. Sevens are still possible there. Uh, uh, not quite. Don't quite get it. Uh, missing digits down here are 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now 4 and 6, 4 and 6 here, so this square and this square 
cannot be four or six, they must in fact be three or five, and we have three blocking here, so that's where the three goes, and that's where the five goes. Now, uh, down here I had five and seven, if you remember, so five blocks here, that's the five and that's the seven. Then we have seven across here and across here and down here, that puts a seven into that square there. Got more goes in here. Let's have another look. Oh, two, three, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so that doesn't really make any difference for the moment. Um, there, no, not much. Ah, of course, there's just one empty square here now. Let's fill that quickly with a five before it disappears. Runs away somehow. Now we had, uh, okay, we've got five blocking across like this. So this is our five, we've got seven blocking across here like this. So I did mention five and seven in those squares before. But in case like me you have poor memory, I'll reiterate it. Seven goes there now. Seven blocks up. This seven blocks up. This column, if I can just hold my mouse down and seven up here. So that's where the seven, the final digit seven goes. And now we can finish off this column with four. Um, and we've got a three blocking here, so that's where the three is. This would be L1 then. Uh, I just realized we still need a one up there, one across and across, so that's the final digit, one. As you may as well just go through the numbers now and see what else is needed. That'll be the easiest way forward. Three blocking down here, three across here, puts a three into that square there. The missing digits here are four and uh, six, I think, yes. So what goes here is not four or six, must be nine. So I, uh, let's see again. What's I doing? Uh, ones are done now. Let's have another look at the twos just in case uh, I can spot anything new there. No. The threes now. Yep. Okay. Three blocks. Three is in one of our, our missing numbers here. This was three and six. So three blocks here. So that will be the three and this will be the six then. So now six blocking down here, putting a six into that square. The game is really finished from this point. I think the four goes here. Four blocks across here. Here's a four. The last number to get here is a six. Just one empty square in this column, and I believe that needs to be a five. Five blocks all the way across here and up here, so we can say, hey, you, you will be a five. Four, four blocks across here, that's where the four goes, that's where the two goes. Two blocks across here, that's the two. And uh, the last number to get here is a six. One more number for this row, which is a three, I think. And three blocks down here, so this is a three. The last number to get here is a two. Two blocking up here, putting a two in that square. and. Uh, a nine will go here. Oh, sorry, nine will go here. Nine blocks up there. That's the nine. And six finishes off today's New York Times high level grid, which is not that not that difficult really. That's it. Thank you very much, and uh, hopefully I'll be back later with some other stuff. Bye bye.